vlog today, beautiful people. So today we decided to do something special. This vlog is spring, you can say. It's almost spring here in South Africa. As you can see, it's quite hot here. It's a Tuesday afternoon. So we, I'm going to teach you all today how to make mini pizzas. Unfortunately, we're just making a small basic mini pizzas. We're not adding any extravagant things, anything. Alright, so first you're going to start off with two cups flour. As you can see, two cups flour is in this bowl. Then we're going to make, we're going to be, be, be using semi-constructed mass. Mass, it's like a thick, you can see it's like a type of rotten milk that you use, not rotten, but it's like a type <laughs> of thick milk. So it's semi, semi-constructed yeah. mass. How I basically made this is I took milk and I added three teaspoons of lemon juice and I boiled it. Oh, you it. can make your own. Yes. So now we're going to take that, as you can see, we're pouring it Clever. little by little into that. So it just mixes into the mixture. As you can see, I'm working outside. I did wash my hands, everything. It's a new because, environment. Yes. So we're going to add a pinch of salt, just a pinch of salt. That salt didn't look have, like a pinch. Okay, it was more than a pinch anyway. But then we're going to keep adding this slowly into parts. Because as it forms into parts, you're going to see a dough will start to form. Nice sticky goodness. You can see I'm carrying on mixing it here. We're still using our deconstructed mass, which is like a milk mixture. So we're going to keep adding it until we get a slight doughish mixture. As you can see, the dough is Coming. starting to come form together. It's a bit sticky. Yep. All if you do, if it's a bit sticky, you just add basically more flour. Why? You, you know what you should have done? I just felt you should have put the table in the pool and you should have made it in the pool. What? Mad. What you said? As you can see, my dough is carrying on forming. It did become out a bit wet. There's the boy with the cheese. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, no, here? no, no. Please mind me, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back for now. What's the time at this time? At this time in your So, we got the cheese. Yes, the cheese. What do you have to say? It's mozzarella, Nothing. cheddar. What? It's mozzarella. And cheese. Three cheese. It mixed together. Yeah, boy. Okay, now we have a nice combination. So, as you can see, I'll Alright guys, so the dough did come out a bit wet here, as I was telling me early on. If it comes out wet, you just add basically more flour to help loosen up that dough. So as you can see, the dough now is starting to form. You are, This is a true ingredient no. dough. So we did no, no. use a bit of salt, it really helps. As you can check now, look at this dough. It's no more sticking to my hands like before, no. because of the extra flour that's added over there. Come here, why don't you bring the audience to tell Gucci hello quickly before you put it back. Gucci is sticking to me guys. Hey guys, oh, welcome good. back to the channel. Hi, yeah. Alright, like so as subscribe. you can see, I keep hitting the dough. It helps to combine properly. Look at that, how beautiful dough that is. Okay, so that's going to become our base now. I need just need a bit of help from Kamea. Which is not here. But she's not over here anyway. I'm coming up. I don't believe Okay. Oh, did you wash your hands? Because I'm going to need you to start breaking up the dough for me to peel. So guys, now I'm cutting the tomatoes now. I thought that had an onion. Well, you need to go check your eyes out. No! God, please, no! No! So we cut the... Is a tomato a foot of vegetable? I was about to say cut the onion. Is it I... a foot of vegetable? It's a vegetable. It's a foot! Oh. A tomato is a foot, don't you know? I know, I forgot. I just forgot. Mm. I see we're cutting it. Oh God, see we can't use this. Throw it. No, don't throw it. Don't throw it in the pool because we know you like to go in the pool. So we're cutting it. My cutting skills are not good. Just mind that. Yeah, and as you can see, there's the doughy. It's, you know, for men. Cutting skills is not nice. Alright, I just went to wash my hands again. Come here, I washed. Oh, as you can see, she's dicing up the tomatoes there. I washed my hands and we're ready. You don't want it too big. You don't want it too big. Okay. So now I'm going to take small blobs of dough. Kamea's dicing the tomatoes there very perfectly. So I'm going to roll them up here onto my clean baking tray. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just take it and drop it down. So it forms a small pizza. It's not that perfect, but anyway, we're going to try. Okay, let's just retry this quickly. Back to the dough, back to the drawing board. What did you do? So roll it up again. Let's try dotting. I'm sure this is enough tomatoes. Dotting it down. We want it into a nice flat pizza. Not so bigish, but anyway. It's, it's not that pretty, but it tastes divine, I'm sure. It'll taste divine. Alright, so that's our mini pizza now. So now I'm going to make a few of these and just line them up on the tray. As you can see, we just keep patting the base here until it forms that roundish and it comes not too thick because a thick base is quite ugly sometimes. I know, especially for these mini ones. Alright, so let's get now into making a few okay, more. So Karen made me do this because I think I'm much more better in doing this here. So it's coming a little big. This is a big one as you can see. 
So stay tuned for the next till it's made. All right, guys. As you see, Kamea actually helped me make these dough. So I'm just gonna layer it with a little bit of pasta, margarine, butter, whatever you wanna call it. This really helps to make the dough flaky. I actually learned this trick. And then we're gonna put the cheese over it. So I'm gonna start buttering each one, just a little bit of butter or margarine, whatever you wanna call it, okay? To anyway help. And you will see why it does this at the end result. The dough will become flaky. All right, guys. We're done lathering the dough now. Thanks, Kamea, so much for your help. All right, so now basically what we're going to do, we're going to make, I'll tell you how I made this marinara sauce. So it's basically a tomato. I chopped up tomatoes. I blended them with a bit of all-go tomato sauce, with a little bit of hot sauce and some other ketchups. This formed a nice liquid and we put flour here to thicken it up. So this is good. This marinara sauce is going to go basically on there. And when it goes on there, it's going to form a lovely goodness on each thing. So we're just going to put a dollop on each thing and just spread. Actually, I'm just gonna. Ugh, I should actually use a spoon. This was actually for me. Let's just put you a spoon. Ugh, no, that spoon already touched the thing, so I cannot use it because yeah, that is unhygienic. But anyway, I'll carry on using the fork for my marinara sauce. Okay. My hands, guys, and as you can see, I'm just mixing it with this butter. I learned this trick also. It does really does. It does really work. So don't be skeptical, guys. All right. So isn't that beautiful? Now we're gonna go with our three cheese layer on this. This is just a plain and simple mini pizza, nothing extra, nothing ordinary added. You can add any toppings, you know, when you're making a lovely mini pizza or any pizza, you can add any toppings you like. And then like a sauce on the top, like barbecue. Yeah, anything you want. It's your, at the end of the day, it's your preference, what you like. Mm. Alright guys, we did wash everything, so we are working a bit clean here, very clean. So we're just going to add those chopped tomatoes here, just a bit of them, just to add a little crunch factor, because this is a full tomato uh, dish, tomato, or tomato, whatever you want to call it. Right? Alright, so that's going to just add an extra layer of crunchiness and divineness. Alright, that's lovely. Okay, that's a few. Alright guys, so we're going to take our just now to the oven first, I just need to add some pepper. A little pepper so it adds a bit of extra flavors to the isn't that beautiful and lovely mini pizzas okay this adds another degree of flavor because pepper is a household staple because zoom tight from here you can actually uh, feel that yeah all right so then we're just going to take a bit of salt just a bit of salt dusting here just to add another layer of beautifulness to the dish. Ah, right. Now we will take your guys to the oven and we're gonna bake this now for about let's say 180 100 degrees. Hundred minutes. Hundred minutes in there. 180 yes. degrees. We are using the metric system, so please convert to Fahrenheit, guys. And we're gonna bake this about 25 to 30 minutes. Let's stay tuned. One eternity later. Okay, beautiful people, let's just check here how beautiful it's come out. Ooh, yo, that's a lot of must in the oven there. But as you can check, they frying nicely in the oven. Stay tuned as we bring you an exclusive oh, yeah. As you can see, Caledon, there you are. Where's the food? <laughs> as you can see, guys, it's beautiful now. As you can see, doesn't it look lovely? So we're just going to take... Wow, look at how they just break away on the train. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, and this is served with decadence. Sorry about that. Look at that. Is it bad? No, it does. It just get a bit crispy because of this oven, but it is decadent. Mm, mm, mm. Here I go, guys. Look at that. That is. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Tasting time now. Okay, let's just take the small one. Hi, Bo. Let me just take out this bit for one part. What's the sense of the teeth? Mmm, it's good, man. We got a nice outer crust. And, uh, mm. As you can see, in some of them, I actually never show up. I keep put cheese inside these ones. These other ones oh, I made. Nice. And cheese is actually filled inside. They sit as you break what away. What? I put a powdered cheese inside. Oh, 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 oh. I never show you guys, but I did do it in this one. See there. Because as you break away the top layer, look at another cheese layer at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Mm. That looks so Stay tuned, guys. Like, subscribe. 
and stay tuned for our more cooking and baking tutorials. Bye. Thank you.